All right, y'all. So I want to talk about this particular subject right here, man. McKinson, man, he has some things to say about Virgil Ortiz. And I wanted to go ahead and you can say react, read, whatever the case may be. But I wanted to see exactly what he was talking about, why he was saying the things he was saying. And I want to make sure y'all Black Goose family was able to see exactly what was going on while I'm finding out the nitty gritty of what McKinson is claiming on Virgil Ortiz. OK, this is one of the particular articles or one of the particular stories where I wasn't planning on going ahead and going, you know, what I'm saying putting this joint on a YouTube channel and sharing with the family. But at the same time, like right before I started reading, I was like, nah, 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 I, I need, I need to see what Black Goose family got to say about this. You know what I'm saying? So here we are, McKinson on Virgil Ortiz. And we all know that, you know, what we're on Virgil Ortiz, you know, I made a video about it. You know what I'm saying? He was hospitalized for something very, very serious that he could possibly change his entire life. He didn't catch it in time, right? Um, and so I just salute Virgil Ortiz for, you know, having the confidence and having the courage. But I got to pull out of this joint and get my body right, but I'm going to be back. And he didn't say nothing but respectful words toward McKinson, right? Um, obviously, this past weekend was supposed to be when he was supposed to fight. Uh, Better Flair Cobb and Roca got uh, uh, elevated to that main event. Obviously, that's where Roca was able to do his thing. I'm Better Flair Cobb. Salute to both of the fighters for putting on a performance. But uh, McKinson ended up being uh, 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 basically um, 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 de-promoted, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, to that co-main event where he had he, he struggled with his replacement opponent. There's nothing to him, no disrespect to him. He had a completely different uh, uh, stylistic matchup. We're talking about a, now a, 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 a southpaw who you know boxes on his back foot. So I, I get it. I get why. It wasn't the prettiest fight for McKinson, but he still got, the, excuse me, he still got the W, and that's all that matters, right? But, um, you know, with everything surrounding Virgil Ortiz, you know, once again, make sure you check out the, the the video that I did on that. I broke down exactly the illness that he had, how severely, how severe it was, and you know what possibly could have happened if he did not check into the hospital during that time and took that fight. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like a Tafima Lopez, George Gimbosa scenario where Tafima Lopez was dealing with something crazy and you end up fighting afterward. He could have died from it. It was kind of like that. So um, the fact that McKinson comes out, and I'm not sure how valid this particular title is. Now, when it comes to boxing scene, boxing scene is a lot more accurate when it comes to titles. It's very rare you see clickbait on boxing scene. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm believing that uh, there's a reason why McKinson said this about Virgil Ortiz, but let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's talk about it. I think this is very interesting, especially if we're talking about a rising star in 147, and you have someone talking about it's very hard for him to already not, excuse me, it's already hard for him to make the weight. Um, this might be a Javante Davis situation if there's any truth behind these claims, but uh, we're gonna find out, huh? Or at least, very at the very least, we can uh, speculate and decide on ourselves how truthful this is. So, McKinson on Virgil Ortiz, I heard there's no way he's making 147. Again, let's read about it. Michael McKinson is not necessarily holding his breath at the prospect of landing another shot at Ortiz. The welterweight from England was supposed to make his American debut last weekend against Ortiz, but those plans were scuttled after Ortiz fell seriously ill, Rabdo, a week out from the scheduled fight, a headliner of Golden Boy Promotions. Obviously, McKinson still ended up fighting. He started, he fought a very cagey southpaw and Alex Martin ended up winning a unanimous decision, even though if you watch it, I want to say unanimous. It could have been split, but it is what it is. So after the fight, McKinson did not sound too hopeful about getting the chance to fight Ortiz anytime soon. So he said... I've heard tonight that there's no way he's making 147 again. That's interesting. How much truth is there behind that? I don't know, because that doesn't make any sense. If he's having that much trouble making it to 147 and being the prospect that he is and where he's at in his in, in, in his career, like that's and then what? He's just gonna move to 154 right now. It doesn't make any sense. And Ortiz is he's too small for 154. So uh, he said, I do wish him a speedy recovery. I appreciate the opportunity that him and his team, Golden Boy, gave me. Whatever he thought of the performance, it really doesn't matter because I don't think he will fight at 147 again. And even if he does, I'm not relying on getting that fight. I'm not hoping on getting that fight. I've got a very good WBO ranking. I'll probably move up to the top 20 um, boxing rec with that win. A lot of people thought he would walk through me in six rounds. There's a lot of people tonight who actually approached me and said, listen, we believe before the fight. And we believe more so now we believe you're all wrong for Ortiz. So obviously, you know, this was all asked of him after his particular, you know, fight is when you're going to be feeling yourself regardless, even if it was, even if it was before the win, you know what I'm saying? You still want to feel yourself, have that confidence. But I want to know what you guys think about that. Do you think it's McKinson just kind of being a little salty? He wasn't able to get the Virgil Ortiz fight. Is there any truth behind him thinking that him falling ill the way he did is because he, Ortiz has trouble making 147? I've never heard that until now. And whether that's a rumor or a speculation that's been around a while for the box community, somebody please educate me. Because for him to say that he's already having problems making it at 147, he's such a young gun. You know what I'm saying? He's still making his way up. That that like I don't think he's even fully uh, blossomed yet 
into his prime because I think Ortiz is only like 25 or something like that. So are we having a, a Javante Davis situation? Is that what, the, what he's trying to say? Like, I don't know. But I definitely went to read what he had to say because it was interesting. And if you want me to be real, I really don't think he's saying that out of like, you know, disdain or, you know, like, I don't like Ortiz. I think obviously he's upset. He's probably even more upset with his performance. Um, but if he's hearing that and he's speculating that, I wonder if there's any truth behind it. I wonder if Ortiz, if him having Rabdo came, you know, it was it was kind of like involved or circulating around the fact that 147 is really hard for him to make. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that Black Lives TV family. That's, that, that, that was an interesting article to me. Do you guys feel like Virgil Ortiz is having trouble making 147? you think that's a real possibility? Do you think him pulling out? Um, I know he seriously had the illness of Rabdo, but do you think Rabdo was caused from him struggling to make that weight? And if you think that's true, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Because it's hard for me to see him at 154 and have success. He's such a smaller fighter. Um, he has power, but will it carry to the 154 division and the elites? Who knows? I'm not sure. It's not for me to answer, but God damn it, I want y'all to answer. I'm like, why not? Y'all answer, y'all answer that question for me. Let me know below in the comments. I want to know everything y'all got to say. As always, salute to the people. I'm out of here, but look out for that other content. Y'all know I'm blessing y'all with all the good stuff, and I appreciate y'all for supporting me, so please keep doing it. Keep showing love, and let's keep motherfucking grinding and absolutely making our